for the next 10 minutes, you can grab anything, pencil, pen, stylus, whatever you want, and just draw. But that's a little trickier than you think, isn't it? How do you just draw? It seems there's always something going through our minds when we're working. Something more than just the unstructured. As artists, we spend a lot of time reacting with our work or lack of work to, well, all sorts of stuff, but fears, hopes, things that our friends have said, things that our teachers have said, or things that our friends and teachers haven't said. We also spend a lot of time while we're working, fretting about what we think those people would say, what they might think when they see what we're working on. All of it is often extremely hypothetical, completely hypothetical but it can feel so real. There's other less personal things too that come up. We spend a lot of time sort of compulsively assessing what we're working on in terms of what we've seen. And in this era, we have certainly seen a lot all of us, quite a lot. Each one of us has surely already seen more images than probably every human being put together up until 300 years ago saw. That's a lot of input. There's a lot to compare ourselves to there. Those comparisons come up rather automatically. And they can become pretty intimate if those comparisons are being made to friends and peers who we have long standing relationships with, thinking about their work. All of this, all of this, our our history of exposure to great work, our exposure to our friends' work, our exposure to our own past work, the things that people we know have said in the past, and all of the things that we imagine they might say from our perfect little simulation of them that we can run in our minds. All of these things are constantly conditioning the way that we work. For as much as we try, so much of the time that we spend just trying to draw is in fact multi-determined. It is buffeted on every side by a near infinite amount of considerations. Now that doesn't mean we can't get closer to an unconditioned version of working. And it's probably unrealistic to always be working unstructured and unconditioned. But there's certainly work to be done to create a balance. I think Many of us would agree that the current climate of social media and high volume art output and constantly being exposed to the best work out there, it 
definitely seems more inclined to push us out of balance, more inclined to push us towards criticality, critical of ourselves and critical of others, out of balance with a feeling of acceptance and self-forgiveness and just joy for the work that we're making as it is. So it's worth it. It's worth it to put in some work to balance it out. Uh, how would you do this? Well, it may sound too simple, but there's really only one way you could put in that work. It is to practice moving towards the space of the unstructured to draw without structure, to draw without conditions, to move closer to the very first part of your practice, the most intimate aspects of it. There's a few things that can help with this. Volume, producing a lot of work, can help. You can just sort of let your hand outpace your mind and your judgments and your fears and see what comes out when it's only the subconscious, the mechanical part of you running it, doing the drawing. That can help you move towards the unstructured. What you may find in this place will surprise you almost inevitably. It's almost always understood in hindsight. There's an old saying that life is lived forwards and understood backwards. And the same is definitely true for drawing if you let it be. You don't need to show up to the paper with all sorts of goals. If you trust the process a little bit, just let it do what it's going to do. Let it move through you. I think you'll be quite surprised how often you will look back on something that seemed unplanned or meaningless or sort of random and maybe that night, the next day, the next week, you look back on it and you realize that it actually makes perfect sense that you drew that for where you were in your life, for what you were going through. It happens to me all the time. I'm kind of, that's the most fascinating part of my process for me now. When I do my work for myself, I love to just do it. Just let it run and to find the, the edge, the tipping point where I can commit to a piece that seems very unsure, very unlikely to go anywhere and just push it through, just dump way more time into it than I feel like I should and then find on the other side of that investment, that big time investment, find that it sure came out feeling much more planned than I initially thought. Sometimes it's uncanny. Every, every little part of the piece can come out just being a perfect little symbol for everything that's going on in my life even though I didn't intend anything of it. I didn't intend any of that. Even though I didn't intend any of that, that does happen. That's very addictive. Once you've had it happen a couple times, it's hard to let go of that. It's an amazing feeling, what a rush. It's possible because the space of the unstructured in your practice is actually the threshold between what is 
consciously available to you and what is unconscious. What parts of your process have long ago slipped deep under the surface of what you can notice? These are both things that you've never had access to and things that you once did, but have since practiced a way into automaticity. And that subconscious area is always vaster and grander and more complicated than the part of your process that you can consciously hold in your mind. Because of that, it can do much better work. And that's a given. If you had to do it all every time with the conscious part of your mind, well, you'd have to relearn everything you ever learned with every drawing. You'd have to at least recite it to yourself as you did every step. You prove to yourself every time you work that the subconscious part is more capable, more complex, more sophisticated. Trust it. Don't overlook it. Give it its time. Even if it's just 10 minutes a day, you can spend the rest of the day choosing every little thing about your art and feeling quite justified and beating yourself up over it or self-aggrandizing yourself over it. But for just 10 minutes, see what comes out of the space without structure. Thanks for drawing today.